guys welcome back to our swift Chin channel so here with the next banger video for you guys so today we go out and go look bar but we're not really see any so we we'll shoot some look of fish see them here shoot some look of parrot and thing and go up mullet um if you do a cook up today guys so we have a roll back on the clip when we catch the fish here yeah just enjoy the water and the water footage then they join us back um in the kitchen Yes guys, the water is shaky today, you know, bad, 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 you know, but we we'll go out there, we we'll see if we can get no content for you guys It kind of cut down the can now, so we'll see some big waves start coming Marcus and Jake out there already there So I watch the wave them and go out, you see that? See bigger wave are coming now? Show you what I go on See that? I hope you see the wave them are coming with there When the big wave then start coming, I have to run Brian and so. stuff Then just a build up but we are going the same way and see if we can get a content for the sound of stay tuned. Watch out guys, I so we normally watch out the bar, you know. You see that? Uh, two so we have a one bad, watch out. You see that? You see that? So may I tell you about guys, you see you get lots here now. Yeah. You can get dangerous and now. Look at that. Welcome to the underwater section my viewers After being at the Barras Puta spot for about two and a half hours we didn't see any So we decided to shoot some parrot This was the first one Marcus made a dive on it and he did spear it The condition of the water wasn't good today either The water was very dirty as you can see here in this clip However, we could still find food So right here, I speared my second fish. The first fish I speared was a red belly, but I didn't record that. This was a goat mullet. A jack was also swimming with it as well. I wasn't interested in the jack, so I speared the goat mullet. However, it slid off the spear, but it couldn't go anywhere. Immediately after that, I saw that butterfish there. It was coming to feed on it. So even while going back to surface, I was watching the butterfish. It was trying to feed off the fish I just speared. I made the second dive to spear the butterfish and pick up the goat mullet because it was dead. When I got close, I was taking my aim on the butterfish, but it was moving too much. So I pick up the goat mullet. Then when I look, the butterfish stopped. Seeing the guys, so I speared it. So I got both fish. The butterfish was trying to eat my fish and I was like, no, not today. I'm going to eat you instead. Yeah, man. So stick around, guys. We're going to roast that butterfish immediately after coming out the water. Yeah, man. Fresh fish for breakfast. All right. And guys, please remember to leave a like on the video because this helps us out a lot. We really do appreciate you guys. We also like coming to see your comments. Yes, those beautiful comments motivates us to continue doing content for you guys. As Jamaicans always say, encouragement, sweet labor. Yeah man, so when you like up the video guys and leave on a comment that encourage us. So right there, Marcus speared his second pink parrot. Marcus saw a baby turtle here. So he made this dive to record it. It wasn't moving fast here, so he made a slow dive to see how close he could get to it. But the closer he comes, the more it starts to swim a little faster. You see that? On land, they are very, very slow, but in the water, you cannot catch them, guys. They are fast in the water. You would be surprised how fast they are in water. So right here, Marcus was trying to spark curiosity to see if it would turn back. It 
worked it turned back a little came a little bit closer see that look how he more kick off now guys same fast yeah, man. this drop was for another pink para they like playing hide and seek so whenever they see you they'll try to hide from you if you're not looking closely you will swim past them a lot of times as you can see there you cannot see it when they go comma mode they are close to the ocean floor yeah man the coloration is very close to the ocean floor so you will swim past them this drop was also for another pink parrot as i said before they are in this area a lot and when they see you their main thing is to hide from you so once you're looking careful and you spot them from far you'll get a chance with them so right here Marcus threw the flasher to see if he could attract any snapper, barracuda or any big fish none didn't show up so he made this dive to catch back the flasher that was a whitening we are not interested in that type of fish while looking at the whitening he saw a pink parrot so he started to chase it it swam off and showed him one that was hiding so he speared the one that was hiding instead the water was really dirty today However, we still could find food. I hope that you guys are enjoying this video. If you guys are enjoying this video, leave a comment letting us know. Guess what guys, I don't have any riddle for you guys today. But you see in the next one, I'm going to have a riddle for you guys because I noticed that you guys like the brain teas yeah man so my kids are already full now guys so don't worry yourself so this right here was the last fish i was planning to head back to land and i saw this jack swimming around with a soap fish so i took this one join me back and land now guys just come out of the water we're not seeing our barra today the water kind of dirty. Yeah, the water dirty and rough. Let me show you how it Rough. But we still find food. Marco spear them here. So we are going to cook. Jake spear this. Same I'm going to roast. No See, no. boss, I took away fire there. Yeah, I want a lowly Jake. <laughs> yeah, man, the boss, I have to roast something before you go home. You see it so boss I set up your fire there. Let me show you my catch now. Marco said you want to spear two fish you go cook so we just spear them around the corner there so this is my catch. Yeah man. We might even roast that jacket too you know and eat it and then we go home. Yeah alright so I go roast the butterfish and the jack. One for me, one for Marcos. So when we go home, we are cooking rest of fish them. Guys, see, see how we roast them, you know. We are roast them, we just kill them, you know. Yeah. We just got them. Um, got them, then after we roast them on the fire. As in, then after when they roast, we take off the skin and the skin. Guys, mm -hmm. nice system. Yeah, man. You don't need no salt, no pepper, no. Well seasoned. Fresh. Fresh. Yeah, man, fresh on the so, ocean. So, I go and got them off camera. Yeah, man, we are cleaning them up off camera, because I don't know. We can't show everything. You watch her guys, you see that? Water be a bad! Watch her. Yeah man. Water heavy. No bar on the power. See that? Watch her. You see that? Yeah man. See a little cool there where we scale the bar of them and then we wash them off, you know? I do your saw go on bad. So we are going to clean them up here now. Roast over them down here. 
Then go up and do a nice little cook up for dinner with the rest. Oh no. Alright? Yeah, man. The boss has become with fire. The general Jake. Boss said, No, nah, left dog here. Until he roast the fish. You see that? Yeah, man, they are pro for catch fire, you know. All them money want to light her. And you hold them. I like Jake. Stick. What? Stick, stick. What, 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 stick? Stick, man. Boss just want to light her. Yeah, man. See that? No fire in the bar, but we get dinner the same way. See, boss fire come together. All the boss need is a lighter. I'll be teaching him still, you know, so you don't no, know him as a bad bunny fire. Come on, brother. Come on, this is my light fire, this, you know. Smoke there. As they say, never see smoke without fire, so you don't know the fire under that. See that cheetah that cool up there, guys? Pass this one light fire, though. Yes, guys, see fire they start to start blaze up. Yeah. So right now, the idea behind it is to let the stick them burn out and turn cool. Then after, put the fish up on there. Steam. Come on, see fire there. Let's move people. Fire light! Good light fire don't do it. The guy seems to have me teach him how to light fire, you know. Tell him what I said last time, man, send up a roast fish, brother. He take your two off your roast two fish. <laughs> Hungry with a kill, man, don't you? <laughs> what did I like? Last time we had said this man, said, man, about two hours, he take him to light one fire. See there guys. I suppose you can light it up. Watch it. Yes, I go on. I can get rough of our motor here guys. So I'm gonna go and steal up. Yo, my best light for you. So no. fire, you see fire blaze, guys. You see fire blaze. Oh, if you feel light fire, no, no, no. Oh, we kill you. Come on. Where shoot the red belly? Right, that's up. Guys, this is what I go on there. Stick them a turn into coal. Mm. Watch it. They would them a turn into coal. You deal with it, brother. Stick me use. Come on, let's stick them out. You see, Jake, I sit up here. Um, the, the crank, 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 crank. Stick me was fucking. I stick this man you was make grill. That yeah. dangerous guy, Jake. Yeah, Jake, this snake. Jake has to be grill, the guys. Why are still too high than them? Because I'm going to fish it. Water, water. 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 Yeah, see you more long there now. Then yeah, put on the fish. <laughs> I have money. <laughs> yeah man. Then take time and cook. Fire there, sir. Oh, the fire too high. Give me an exercise. Uh, no, no fire right there, sir. No fire in our hand. Can this one? Smoke. I don't want this. I'm shot in my easy fish. I don't want to squeeze out all of them. Try if you are out, you will fly out the fire. You come like say, you the water touching fire, the fire blaze up brother. <laughs> you don't realize? I want you. You want me to try um, <clears throat> out the fire like so. It can steam nice. Too much fire to make them bottom. What then? Mm -hmm. You want smoke, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that's all living at the Oh god, guys. Shy guy, is shy guy free 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 for good that camera right now. This one has sick man. Every time we turn on the camera guys, I do something around the fire. Oh move. brother, I feel your turn, brother. You can't catch fire, I'm catching fire. Say so, yeah, we just go and roast the fish them. <laughs> yeah, catch fire. So I go on the guys. Say no, so then two ready. Yeah, yeah, come down, yeah. 
Yeah, it was here for guys. Beautiful. So I don't know, so this never saw already or not. Oh, you can see the other one. Yeah, I want to know. Tell her already, you know. Me, nah, fire up on a fish and then missing head when we could have shot him in my body. You know, I do that either. No, I want to get myself. Yeah. Yes, guys, so I go on now. We should look like they're ready, you know. See, plate them, you know. Bushman style. Yeah, man, so me I eat here with. Yeah, man, sweet tea biscuit. Yeah, man, you see that? Do you can test that? Test if they're ready. I'm a real chef, you know. I'm ready, ready man. Yeah, see that? Well cooked. Alright. Alright. What's that? Wait. What? It's just ready. It's juicy, bro. It's juicy, man. Look, watch out. This is not ready. But that. What? Yo, give me a crackers then. Yo, yo, see a crackers then, my boss. Right, I'm going to put it in the fresh way put it Fresh fish that you know guys Yeah man Fish don't get fresher than this You don't need the salt and the pepper no Nice Well, well nice it Tastes like a good season for me See, muggy season <laughs> You see that? That is why we don't take off the, the scale so the scale protect the flesh. Mm -hmm. And so they cook now. We take off the Gross, scale. Man. Yes, Jakey. Gross, man. Get them Jakey. Yeah. Gross. Yeah man, so interview the boss for my So where's all the fish this? Huh? I roast fish this. I'm a roast here though. I like fish. Say <laughs> <laughs> so it tastes uh -huh. like fish. Yeah, first I'll do something good in your life. <laughs> I know you roast it. I know you roast it, you know. Yeah. The man got a few man. Fire. Five man roast it. Come in, Jaman. I'm still going to feel what. You know, I'm going to take a bit. Come on. Clean yeah. him up here you now. See that guy is the same flesh pretty? That is it, man. See that? Mm -mm. Yeah, I'm going to see what I'm going to feel me now. Yeah. Wow. Ah. Look at Put that. I'm going to look at the fish and the smallest one, so I'm going to get the smallest fish, but that's how you go. That's how you go, guys. I'm going to get the most expensive fish, I'm going to fish up. Alright. Alright, so I'm going to have some mushroom tea more than now. Five minutes, man. You can go pick crackers. Stay tuned in, guys. Please remember to leave a like on the video as well. Because we are going to we'll cook them on there, you know. Yeah, man. We're going to cook them on there for dinner. Yeah, can go in a few more there. Only thing we miss is a little pepper, but we never prepare our plan this. Aital. Yeah, man. So we just eat the aital today. We don't need no need pepper, guys. We die so weak. Yeah, man. But we always get pepper and thing. And you don't know. Only when I use the bigger fish, then we have to Yeah. So my fish nice for my plate. Yeah man. What's the panda? Panda one and no. White and pretty. Mm -hmm. But the fish man knows the plenty of fish are That is mm. it man. Jake I'm going right in. Go in right in us. See that? See that? Alright. What's that going bad the same way? Yes guys, so welcome back to the kitchen now. So you see we already eat breakfast early for the morning. So now this is dinner. So we will do some banana fritters as well. The banana is not too ripe still but we just feel for some banana fritters in the morning. So we will make that as well. So our fry no barbie fried fish and banana fritters. Yeah, so we have a clean up them part here now. This part was from the previous dive, but the rest of them are from today. So we have to clean them up now, cut them up, and season them up already. I'm frying them up. Yeah, so let's watch what are going, guys. So a nice one up plate part. Yes, yeah, so we have to cut, cut off them finier. 
clean them up. Yeah. Clean them up and so, so I'm warning guys the water the rough bad, me I tell you. Water the rough bad. But nevertheless, go in there and come out back safe. I will get things to get something I can cook for dinner. Yeah. So you cut them up. So I get them in one slice. Nice. Throw that back in our pan. Continue the rest, you know. So we are finished cleaning them up and then make a swab on, alright? So that's mm -hmm. stay tuned. See a big goat see a big goat tailor guys on the previous video. Yeah. <coughs> so after I clean them up now, I go put some season on them. But then go and take the local season then after as we make up the banana fitters. Yeah, so just stay tuned guys. So <coughs> we don't cut them up and all, see it? Some nice slices so we can put the seasoning in there. So, so you don't know, you have to cut it around and so, so use a little vinegar. So we'll put vinegar up on it. Yeah. And wash them off and all. Wash them off. Wash again. I'm going to drop out. Wash by yourself. Guys, so this is some all purpose maggi, definitely last leg, you know. So, when I season all my fish, now, my life, we, we make every season into one. Yeah, so, we mix up the season. Mix up everything together. So, this is some this maggi fish. Mm -hmm. I'm a fish season. Two of you in the maggi. Yeah. This is not a little thing to put in a still boat. If you don't leave over, I'm just, I'll just leave, leave it in like this. Uh, mix that up. Now some Mr. Dash. Dash season. I see a mixture here. Yeah? Yeah, man. Some bones. So now, dry off this. So you get to fish them now, dry them off. Take off the excess water off of them. And after you just add on it, the season upon them is it. Alright guys, so I normally put there something where I can put my hand in, but so I use this one now, I throw something on my hand, just rub in and fish them. Rip on the outside, put the inside. We're on salt, let me know, guys. See that fresh fish? Yeah, man, so we shoot fish, guys, you see, sir? They're not going to waste. Yeah, man. 
and on food. So we are for food. Begin us, and I forget to ask just easy. So, Nipe. Yes, guys, so we have a rope in the season of them here. We're gonna take a season nice. Guys, I see no well the season up and everything. So right now we have a catch them in the fridge. I make a start with the, the banana fritters. So yeah. Alright, so they are see that. Well the season, so I'm gonna make the season fall in love with the fish them you now. And the day with the fritters you know. so, so just stay tuned. Let's watch how I go. And guys, please remember to like, share and comment. Leave a comment man. Leave a comment and tell us what you think about the video so far. Alright, so clean up here so now. Then we start with the banana fritters. Yes guys, so see banana them here when we have our use. The best way the best banana fuels are ripe or overripe banana but when I have that right now I'm a feel for some fritters in idea. So this is the way I'm doing but normally the best way for do it if you, if you use fork and be when the banana is ripe, then easy to mash out. But being that the banana are too ripe now, I just have to chew them in a blender and just blend them up. And guys, we're not using any recipe or anything like that. We just do it off a base off a memory. So everything I just done to taste. So I have no measurement when me I use. I use this amount of this, this amount of that. Yeah, my boss just with us a freestyle. It's freestyle. Yeah, more everything fit one time. We just make one go. Yes, but it's not really ripe, ripe, ripe. That ripe still, but I make it work. Okay, everything, so guys. Like so no, mini blend that is, you know. When we when we not blend a lot of things. We Last one day in there. Um, try bending all of them one time. So that one I never get to go in there. Drop him in there. So now may I put some rose water and some vanilla extract in there. As I said, when I have the measurement, because I do it to taste. So after I put it in the flour and everything, may I taste it. If you want a little more, may I add it. If not, yeah. So just watch all go on guys, yeah. Shake you up. So a mini blender bad guys. Yes guys, so you see it? Everything doesn't blend out. Nice. So I pour in I pan now. Well smooth. Just blend out nice. Right now. Next thing we add we are add a little sugar and a flour. And also we are gonna add some some grounded cinnamon. Yeah. As I'm saying, guys, just, just a, do it have a taste. Yeah, that look like enough. 
and some nutmeg, nutmeg as well. Right. And sugar, make don't forget the sugar. Yeah, I want that. Don't mix your password as well. I don't want to mix your password. a little bit too much flour but sometimes people put water in there and things like that but I like it my own rich so I normally put um, water in there but seems like I have to go put a little water in there this oh, yeah. Yeah. look more that yeah look more running like extract yeah look more rose water I don't want to use too much of them things here, guys. Sometimes them things here make you get bitter. Hey, sugar. Sugar, what is up? Yes, guys, so I type put in the sugar. I put two spoon. Being that the brown them never overripe. Alright. I put in a little extra sugar in this. And also guys remember put a little salt in there. Put too much in okay and I want to salt. Salt now. Yeah. Look at salt. Just put that now because that's a little water in there. Too thick. Just look a bit. I'll get the right consistency. Still too thick guys. Still look a bit too thick. A bit more water. I know guys, everybody do them thing different in us. Mm -hmm. Might be no so we no do phone thing. Everybody yeah, so. yeah man. So we do it. Just a little bit more water. This is supposed to be it now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's that's about it guys. So, as I said, we do it to taste. So, taste it. Want a little bit more sugar? Yeah. Want a little more sugar, guys? Drop in a little bit more sugar. That's supposed to do it. Look a bit more vanilla. You look more flavor. Mix this up nice and good.
All right, guys, that is it. Yes. So you ready now? So uh, go out at the island now. Then fry them. Then after I fry fish them. So now stay tuned, guys. All right, guys. So yeah, all hot now. This will mix up everything. So now we are use this to drop them in. Guys, so you know, say so I will hot, so then I got to long before you get them first stir. You know, I'll turn them back again, but then get that golden, nice golden brown. But you know, on them burn, guys, okay? I will hot. Get them first stir, so then I burn. I don't want to give them problem, guys. Like, yeah, probably the chat. Why fuck? Now, who we put this special up for them, guys? Alright, so them, the guys, turn. So I'll turn them back again, but I want to give them a. I don't want them burn. Chop in two more right there, so. And they may not take long for cooking, you know, guys. So, right there, they put them in there. Take them out. Yes, guys, so you see them have a nice golden color. So, they may want to know, say, so ready, I know. You know so, I have to take out the first batch. This is our last one that we go in. Last two of them this. So I had in the rest of them I know. I got just two more leaves. Uh, yes guys so we just take out finish take out the flitters them and we left it part to make it uh, get back hot so now we're ready to put it in the fish and look at that well seasoned and nice so now I'll we'll put it in the fish and now guys wow well hot Uh, 
yes guys, so right now we are going to make a barbecue sauce. We have a barbecue sauce right here. So this is how we do it. Throw the water in the pot. Put it on the fire. Throw a reasonable amount of barbecue sauce in there. Lay around that. Yeah. Throw a little ketchup. Yeah. Then I like to tip the lime juice in there. So maybe about a cock full. And look at salt. Now I want to do this. The salt. Then don't know. Look at sugar. Look at sweetness. Oh, the too sweet, I'm gonna add it too much. Then we stir it around, mix up everything together. Okay. Alright, yeah, so now I just want to simmer down. And after I'll show you, I'm gonna stay too. So, we give them a one turn. So it's looking here. See the sauce, they have one bubble. And it's looking real nice, yeah? Yes, guys, so if you share it, you know, you know, I'll take them off. Green, yeah. Drop in the next minute. I try fish. I don't know how to get from the head yet. I don't know how That beautiful. Alright, so we'll drop in the last the two last one now. Guys, so two last of them done for right now. We are going to just put them up. The green here, so now we're going to have to look a bit now. Sauce, ready everything now. We're going to drop them in there. Yeah. Guys, we have coffee excess oil. We want to fish them to oil. So, right now, and everybody want to fill them fish going nice sauce. So, this is a this is for who want their fish going so, so mother don't want to fear her fish and father. So, put them fish there aside. So, put it in there when I know. Nice sauce. Nice part of them. Nice. Good mullet. They want to get hungry and start eating one day. Yeah, I lie, man. Tell me. They put that piece in there, so I'll start. Alright, so. Just do it now. Cover them up in there, so I'll start. Yes, guys. See that? Yes guys, so we'll cook some um cook some uh pumpkin rice to go with this but we don't have a pumpkin yet so so this will be so we'll close out the video right here. So thank you guys for watching. Please remember to like, share and subscribe and leave a comment and
what you add to them guys really appreciate that so take a last look there yeah. so guys we'll see you in our next video, next video. we out, out.